Welcome back everybody to this new video to Express. Let's take a look into how we can get started of the comprehensive guide of coin market cap. Whether you are a crypto newbie or looking to shop and use scales, this video will walk you through everything you need to know about the coin market cap. So first of all, let's talk about uh, this great, great application or website that you might not know. So what is exactly coin market cap? Well, the coin market cap is one of the most popular and comprehensive cryptocurrency tracking website. Think of it as a crypto Bible. So it provides real-time data on cryptocurrencies, including the prices, the markets, uh, capitalization, volume, and much more. It's a crucial tool for anyone involved in the crypto space. So let's explore the key features and functionalities of coin market cap so you can get the most out of it. First of all, you see the navigation of the dashboard. So when you first land here into the coin market cap, you see the main dashboard with a list of cryptocurrencies. Usually those are like the most trendy and all the top cryptocurrencies prices by market cap. So even though here, for example, like the most popular is Bitcoin, Ether, Theta, BNV, Solana, USDC, and so on. So here I have the search bar. We can use this to quickly find specific cryptocurrencies into coins. You can go from ranking, categories, global charts, historical snapshot, Bitcoin, ETFs, and token unlocked. I have leaderboards, NFTs, information, and on-chain data. Now, this is where you can find the details of each coin. Every 24-hour volume and percentage changes can be changed automatically. Now, we can analyze a few changes from the centralized exchange spot, derivated, and decentralized exchanges. The community tab can be helping you to manage and understand about feeds, topics, lives, and articles. So this is, for example, to know a little bit more about what's happening into the community article. Now, um, here, this is tool, a cryptocurrency converter, for example. I'm going to go here for products. You have the converter. This converter allows you to convert one cryptocurrency to another or to fiat uh, currencies. So you can know like what is the actual cost of one Bitcoin, for example, uh, this amount of money. So if you have, I don't know, maybe only $10, you are able to buy 0 0.00017 Bitcoin. But if you have a little bit more, I guess that you are able to buy one Bitcoin, right? So this is going to be really uh, helpful. I have cryptocurrency conversion, for example, from one token into another one. If you want to do some popular conversion, the people dust. Now, into the upper side, we do have the logging section where you can check out the portfolio. Now, the portfolio is a place where you can manage your own portfolio to keep track of your investment and performance. You have to do um, any process of creating an account with different accounts, make the merge and all of that. So you can just go directly into create your portfolio, sign with an actual free account. We can go from Google account, we can go from um, Binance, whatever. In this case, I'm going to go for my Gmail account, which I already have an actual account. I'm going to sign in and we can just start by managing your main portfolio. So after you hit into you add your main portfolio, you can go into add transaction and you can just specify a transaction you have done uh, somewhere else, for example, into Binance or into Coinbase. Let's see, for example, here into Binance, I uh, just bought um, $15 of it. Price per coin. I'm going to go for zero of the, this is the amount of money that I currently have, right? So I, this is the amount that I just bought. I add the transaction and this automatically should be added into my main portfolio. So down here, I can see all my assets. What is the price of my uh, tokens and how much does the volume has now get high or low? And I can keep track of my performance. So for example, when I started this portfolio, my money was from uh, about here and now it's a little bit less and now it's much, much less. And now it's getting up and now it's getting down. So you can keep track of this performance and the allocation to figure out which is the best time for you to, uh, let's say, to the lead to purchase or to sell products. Now, into the upper side, once again, you can explore the advanced features of the coin market cap. For example, you can see here that you have to get listed and the API. The API access for integrating its data into applications and services. This can be helping you to detail metrics and analytics for more in-depth research in various coins. This can be helping you up to nine latest market data endpoints, 110 key calls credits per month, 12 months of historical data, and of course, this is for personal use. I can get a, a free API if I wanted to. 
So you need, of course, to assign an email, enter a name, a passcode, and which is the plan which you want to use. Hit now to create an account, and then you have now the developer side of the coin market cap. So those are of how we can actually use the coin market cap. There's a lot of people who asked how we can withdraw money from coin market cap. There's not so much way of how we can do this process because here you cannot buy or sell um, coin stuffs or cryptos. You can just have like all the whole information about crypto world and whatever, but you cannot do transactions inside coin market cap. So you might want to keep that in mind. So that's a wrap up our definite guide on the coin market cap. We have covered everything from the basic dashboard to just a few advanced tools and features. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more tech tutorials and crypto guides. Have any questions or suggestions for future videos, you can drop them into the comments below. Thank you once again so much for watching the video guys. Hopefully you can all see you next time.